be recording again shortly. Was this point for anyone watching on YouTube? Welcome back. Apologies for the break. Decided to cut out the leveling process and kind of need to split the recording up every couple hours. Part for the players. Leveling up your characters. Boring for everybody else to watch. <laughs> All right, Lynn, you done? If you. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's begin Uman's trip. <laughs> Better get ready, kids. So, You're going on a trail. Uman, or Chat, has selected the Beastmaster. Ooh. Which means oh, that his dog now serves a purpose. Maybe. <laughs> Better not take my chicken. So, Udman, are you going to start your Beastmaster? Yep. I shall start. Okay. First, roll me perf- While he does his thing, I'm going to sit and work on my weapon. Would that be the intelligence version or the dexterity version? It's the intelligence version. Figured. All right. Wolves is gonna, is gonna watch you do that, by the way. So Udmund walks into one of the little uh, buildings and comes out with very shitty paint across his body. What color is your paint, Udmund? What does it look like? I think it would probably be kind of like the marks that appeared on me, red. And I tried to copy, but I didn't have a mirror, so I just kind of drew from what I saw on my hand or arm. Perfect. And like I said, he's wearing a grass skirt. He's got red moons all over him. Are they in any sort of animal marking? Um, Seriously, dress and drag and do the hula. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's such an old freaking reference. I don't think they would be in a specific animal yet. Okay. Just maybe like the moon. Squeaky door. Mm. Yep. Squeakiest. Okay. So he comes out and he goes to the very central town. And Lynn, Udman, what herbs do you? I will use some of those rare herbs that I got from the elves that kidnapped me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they didn't kidnap you. You tripped out and went to them. <laughs> and I will. I'll say, uh, I can see the future! <laughs> of the really good catnip. Okay, so catnip, elf herb, and your rare herb. Yeah. Oh, buddy, I'm going on a trip. Welcome to Mr. Bones' wild ride. <laughs> Don't you see, about on kids, we're going for a ride. Just looking for Lynn on Steam. Oh. Discord. You know I love music. I mean, you could just play it. Or post it on Discord and I can play it, I should say. Also, uh, Skeeger, hmm? uh, while you're working on your thing, I go, if it's a little later in the day, uh, Gibbles will go, here, I can help you, uh, actually, yes, get a better look on this. 
just because I love it for this, this starts playing and I'll. Oh God! Time to get muted on YouTube. <laughs> Copyright strikes, guys. Play it so. So. That, so that music is playing, or I'm gonna turn that down. I think. It's playing in your head. But just so that you can get an idea for, like, is that music actually playing yes. or not? This is what your grung hears. Oh, <laughs> As everything around you starts to fill with thick, thick smoke, all of your reactions are sluggish, and as you move your hands, you can see multiple of your hands. Damn it. Multiple flashes of colored lightning spark through the fog. And you can hear hundreds of animal howls. You're pretty sure it was mostly day out. But if you look into the sky, it's a starry night sky with the moon in every single um, state. <laughs> I'm holding the cat pipe just for flair. Hey, at least he isn't hotboxing me this time. Oh no, <laughs> you are also <laughs> seeing this. The village is fucked right now. Everyone is seeing this. Oh great. <laughs> Gibbles didn't do it. As you say this, it echoes. Every letter of the word echoes for everyone. So it more sounds like gig 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 eh bo 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 do 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 it 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 it. Fuck. At least my character's focusing on something so he's distracted. Yeah, you're focusing on about 50 things. You can see you can't quite make it out, but you can definitely see the progression of your weapon in every single stage at the moment, right up to its pinnacle. <laughs> if it's dark out, I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast light because. Okay, cast light. On what? A stone. Just pick up a rock or a stick or something and cast light on it, and be like, ah. So you can turn around and see him sitting there waving a lit up stone. <laughs> So you, uh, you cast on a Amarok's blessings! Amarok, grant me more magic! Uh, as you cast it on a stone, it, it shines in every color. Ooh. It shoots off sparkles, and you hear a tiger roar. Ah. <laughs> Furry thing come to kill us again! Because you said tiger, not wolf, or... A tiger. Wait, what? Done. He, uh, he cast light on a rock, and it rainbow-like disco balled with sparklers, and it e roared like a tiger at him. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is going on? We are becoming one with nature. Oh, okay. This strange. Gibbles just normally give offering to Aramok. Not get. I'm not questioning it anymore. <laughs> and he's just gonna hold the stone, and just kind of just like look around, like what the fuck is like. Lost kid in an amusement park, which is like all all sorts of things to see and listen yeah, to. Yeah, no, and there are just... there are hundreds of animals in the trees, and there are lights, and the 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 smoke is getting thicker, and everything is getting more and more slow and calm, and your voice is starting to mellow away. <laughs> Tigger just grabs his tools and its weapon that he's working on, goes in one of the buildings, keeps working. 
It's the <laughs> same inside. Oh, I know. Uh, only instead of seeing animals, every light shadow is a different animal move. This <laughs> Kiju's like, I'm not dealing with it. <laughs> no, it's for something else. No, they're all calm. In fact, the the uh, Boobazilla is sitting under a tree with a with a, like a grin, and he's like nodding along to the music in his. <laughs> <laughs> the gold is gonna show up. Like, what the fuck did I walk into? Mm, too funny. So I'm there is there is no fear. Everyone is everyone is very collectively calm and I chill. Should repeat the song then. God, this is hilarious and I love it. Uh, can't set it to auto repeat. Oh, Marley starts playing. I would absolutely love it. <laughs> Just don't wear. Sorry. Nah, this is this is the song from the Far Cry level where you flamethrower the crops. Oh Jesus! I'm not actually turning on the uh, YouTube thing. I know it would blare back into my speaker and probably blow somebody's eardrum. For the whole copyright thing, I don't want to get in trouble with that. Well, I'm already gonna get in trouble with it, so whatever. He's already playing it for chat. It's already on repeat. I can't put it on repeat. I have to manually play it. Uh, okay. Anyway, so. <laughs> shit, what's going on? Alright. Come on! Let's go! Lynn, you're super quiet again. What do you do? While tripping balls. <laughs> All of you hear like a roaring thunder and you expect it to heavily downpour, but it starts to rain flower but So what now? It starts to rain flower petals. I'm very confused. I like that we have the highest viewer rating while I'm describing the drug scenes for you. <laughs> Come on, what is happening? As Gipples is just looking around at all the flower petals. <laughs> He's that, he's the, he's the uh, concerned kind of stone where he's, where he doesn't know what's going on. What's going I'm, on, I'm man? I'm going to kill my vibe. Okay. And he'll just curl up into a ball and just sit there. Uh, all of the grung are now doing tribal dances around the floor. Oh, shit. <laughs> I leave the uh, dance around the, uh... Smokes and offering. Okay, Gibbles joins. Does Skigo want to join in? I'm inside of a building working. Skigo, <laughs> come, enjoy. Is there actually a door on the building? No. Hmm. Push a piece of furniture in front of it and just keep working. <laughs> Party pooper. So like you can feel like you can see the forest like parting into paths. Hmm. I'm gonna hit play again. Let's see. Makes it too hard to hear Lynn. For a path that I choose. What was that? So do I need to roll for a path to follow or no, there are, there are like twenty paths that are opening okay. into the. Hmm. 
Roll a d20. <laughs> Fair. Right down the middle. Damn. I just walk straight forward. All right. Uh, as you walk forward, the forest definitely parts for you. It turns into like arching, like giant arching flowered ways. As you walk, wild flowers are sprouting from your feet. Is anyone going with Udman on his journey? Nope. Yeah, I'm going. I'm following him. All right, so as you guys walk, all the shadows turn into... Uh, into animals. You constantly hear the roars, the music. Uh, as you come along, the ground almost seems to part away, and you can see rivers, and you are on a cliff. You want a what now? On a cliff. Oh, shit. <laughs> do I see anything when I look around? I guess I need to do a perception, or... There is nothing but the way forward. Hmm. Well then, I just let myself go off the cliff. All right, Gibbles. Uh, Uman just like a leap of faiths off this. Assassin's Creed dives. Um, for my. Uh... For some reason, you hear a hawk. Oh no! You definitely <laughs> hear hawks. When he when he leaps, you hear hawks cry. Oh shit. Uh, can I look over the edge to see how far he goes, to, to see what happens? Like, does he land in a pool of water? Like, I, I want to see what happens. It is too far down. Uh, he is out of view. You have no idea how you got up so high. I take it there's no way for me to climb down, is there? No. Can't tell if he said yes or no or not. Nope. Just gotta go. <laughs> Gibbles goes. Gibbles clutches his holy symbol and goes, Amarok, please guide me. And he'll jump off as well. When you jump off, it's not eagles, it's wolves. The entire forest fills up with howls. Smiles as he falls. We and both I, are expecting to hit the ground or water or something, but you don't. You soar almost like you're flying and gliding through the through the, and you gently touch down onto an elephant's back as it starts to walk through the forest. I will start taking drag from the cat engraved pipe. Gibbles needs the pipe. Perfect. See how deep the rabbit hole goes. Make me a con save. <laughs> Disadvantage. Oh, sweet God. Um, Gibbles taps on him on his shoulder. And, and does that kind of uh, hand gesture. Not saying anything, just makes that hand gesture like, may I? I'm pretty sure he's looking in two different directions and thinks your name is Fred at the moment. <laughs> his eyes are just like cross eyes. When, uh, when you look at him, his eyes are doing the hypnotoads. <laughs> I'm like, eh, I'm on this trip. I might as well double down. So uh, Gibbles will partake in the pipe as well. And save for me, I take it as well. Yep. With disadvantage. You are blasted with, like, the most unreal sense of everything. Like, you can taste color. <laughs> you can feel the vibrations of the animal howl. Amarok walks with me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now you're getting it. The elephant is now at a watering hole and it stops and starts to it drinking from the water. It just stops. Yeah, it stops at the watering hole and starts to drink. I will hop off and walk into the water. Okay. You can hear more animal cries. The forest is moving and shifting to your will. Will still clings on to his holy symbol. It does. The moon is, is full and shining into the water. I was just about to ask that, so, yeah. Does Umond have a vision of, of what kind of animal he is looking for? Does he even still know he's looking for an animal? We yes. failed the con it, save. It is fully, like, the, this is his purpose. He can feel it in every cell in his body. <laughs> Better not find a damn seahorse. In the middle of the forest. <laughs> it's like a land shark. No, you can full on get seahorse. I'm not kidding. <sighs> um, hmm. I'd say a fox, but that'd be too cliche. And plus, that's a small animal. You want something bigger. Yeah. Something I could possibly ride. Mm. Well, what's the biggest, scariest thing you've seen here? <laughs> I mean, fair. <laughs> Do you picture the bear? Do you picture the wolf back in your encampment? Do you picture the drop a cat? <laughs> the drop cat. Drop bear. <laughs> I think about the drop cat, and then I think about what if it was a bear that did that? <laughs> And then I start thinking about the universe and more. What if an elephant did that? Drop all elephant. Right. So all of you, everyone at the everyone at this at this this pond uh, sees. Which instance do you think of? Mm -hmm. When the cat fell from the tree, first one that comes to mind. Who did it hit? Who did it pull? Oh, the one with that. Uh... Dropped onto Gibbles. All right, so you, you know, you know, you said Gibbles. So you were watching through the woods, and the trees move apart for you, and you see Gibbles walking through those trees, and then from the trees, and you don't know how you didn't see it. An elephant drops down, biting into him. Thud. I'll start. I'll start making another character. <laughs> no, 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 Shane. Tactical Gibble nuke incoming. Sees this too. You just watched yourself get taken right. down by a drop <laughs> elephant. <laughs> Gibbles goes. Ah. Seems right. I mean, fair. <laughs> Does it I mean? will. Start swimming in circles around the moonlight and let it guide me towards what I meant to have. Excellent. Bye. Bulls will stay out, out of the water because I, I, he's thinking this next part probably is for Umond only. He'll drink from the water, at least. So, do I understand that you are... You are letting fate guide you and not thinking of a specific... Yep. I will leave it to fate, like I have left everything to the fate of the moon. God, where's that table? I thought you'd actually want something specific. I thought about something specific, but I was like, you know what? It would be more interesting if I just let fate decide. What was? Hmm. 
Uh, I mean, I was like thinking a bunch of different stuff, but. Is there even actually a table for this? Hell, I think if I had a choice, I'd probably pick like a pixie dragon or some shit. That's wild. All right, Lynn. Open publicly roll, or do you want to hidden behind my DMs? Uh, I guess you can roll it for everybody to see. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Guess I'm not getting a pixie dragon. Mm-hmm. Watch that actually be it. It's like, yeah, Pixie Dragon. <laughs> yeah, you, you can imp or something. Oh, this has been fucking hilarious. Okay. <laughs> the trees part in two separate ways. To the right, you can hear the howl of wolves. To the left, you can hear pounding, like almost drums, but made of flesh. Hmm. That's interesting. That's very angry 13-year-olds. Do I see this split too, or is it just Gibble? Or is it just Gibble? You see it, Derek. I, can tell I think different. I'm curious about the pounding. So I go towards that. As you start to walk towards it, you uh, get the sense that if you move through here, you will not be able to. Hmm. Is Gibble able to follow me, or does he have to wait? You don't know. I just look at Gibbles and then I nod and keep going. Gibbles nods and waits. That, uh, Jake, just out of curiosity, was that split open for me as well or no? Huh? Cut off. Everything split open. Like, you could see it happening, but you don't know if you can walk down them. Well, if Amon goes towards the drums, Gibbles will try and go towards the wolves because that is his deity all right so so len you can see gibbles moving towards the wolves you still yep i think uh i feel like the drums are probably like in tune with the music playing in my head they are definitely not oh they're not they're they're like <laughs> angry like hands on meat drum hmm. angry 13 year olds <laughs> Hey man, it's what you were to this. So let me let me see if I can find a sound. Like beating chest type? Yes. Mm. Then I will continue this path. Okay. So over to Gibbles. Gibbles, you see Udman step into a path, and the trees close behind him. Everything for you goes very bright, very rainbowy, very swirly. And you find yourself somewhere. He's back in the damn cave, isn't he? <laughs> I, I, he cut off for the last bit. Where am I? Somewhere. You know. but... Udmond. Um, is it dark? It's colorful and swirly. Ah, sorry. Um, I keep moving forward. Uh, 
I take a look around. Watching uh, my holy no. symbol. You, you have no actions to take. You are floating and it swirls in colors. We're flipping over to poor, poor Udmon for a second. Udmon. Okay. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. <laughs> Udmon. As you walk, the path diverges into two paths for you again. One is meaty thumps. And the other is the low chirpish growls. Chirpish growls? Yeah. Would I be able to understand what that animal Roll made? nature. Crazy growls. It's a bear, bro. Bears chirp when they growl. Oh, it is true. hilarious. Hmm. Big furry. Or drums. Hmm. Furry or something beating its meat drum. <laughs> hey man, that's how I'm he really explained it. I'm curious as to what this thing is that I'm walking towards. It's, for lack of better words, beating meat. <laughs> you said it, not me. I mean, pounding meat doesn't sound much better. <laughs> <laughs> you stay on this path? Yes, I will stay on the path of pounding meat. Excellent. As we do need walk, more blue grung. As you That's walk down good. this path, it diverges once again. You have you have uh you have the beating of the meat pounding. But down the other side you hear though the same sounds that that drop cat thing made. But this one feels this one feels older and more primal. I turn my head towards the sound of drop cat. This also calls to me. Mm. It's a tough decision. This one is not only drop cat, but it's also older and prime. Mm. I will There's something walking towards... old and savage about. I will start walking towards the sound of the low growl. Okay. You know that this is a point of no. Yes. Okay. As you walk through, the path closes behind you. You have returned to the pool. The moon is shining down. You feel like you can walk on this pool. I, I take a step. All right. You, you're you standing on the water. In the water, floating, you can see Gibbles. He seems lost. You can see Skigor. Skigor, please describe what the fuck is going on in your room. He's just wandering around, psychotically scribbling on the walls, trying to figure everything out from all the designs he can see going through his head. You feel like you can reach into the water and pull them out. I reach both hands in and reach towards them. And just... And start pulling. See okay. It. Starting with Gibbles. Gibbles, you've been lost in the swirling, floating color. When all of a sudden you are mm -hmm. pulled out of the water by by Ubman. Skigor, yeah. you've been doing whatever Skigor's been doing. When all of a sudden you you 
you're wet and you're pulled through the water by <laughs> punch him in the face. <laughs> really? Want me to roll to attack? No, you go to punch him and you pass through him. Come on, ghost. No, he's solid. Come on. You are on spirit journey with me. Okay. Ahead of you, the forest parts, and the ground vibrates, and the water underneath your feet. Rip. What did Uman do? It's not what Uman do. It what nature do. It what Uman do. It's calling to us. It's testing us. He understands. Clutching his, he's still clutching his holy symbol. Barak, <laughs> me. Nature better be tasty. Okay. That is more thumping. It gets closer. If this is a test, then we shall pass it. The challenge we over we if the challenge we complete. Lynn, yes. what are monk weapons? Uh, staffs. Uh, monk weapon? to, like a martial type of weapon. Uh, simple weapons. Staff, yeah. quarter staff. Quarter uh, staff, long, uh, short sword, katana, uh, all sorts of. All right, you know what, Len? In front of you, raises. We're going to go with a long sword. Yeah, that works. In look, but it's going to classify as a monk. It is ancient. It is made of stone. It is carved in effigies of animals. I will grasp the hilt. Skigor. Yeah. In front of you, you have the, in the same description carved stones and woods, a heavy crossbow. Do you take it? I can't use a heavy crossbow properly. Whatever crossbow you're proficient in. <laughs> <laughs> I am, but heavy crossbows have the heavy tag. Like the crossbow. At least I think they do. Yeah. But yeah, if there's a crossbow in front of me, I'll pick it up. Yeah, there's a type of crossbow you can pick. In fact, you can even take two hand crossbows if you I don't know what my character's built around, so yeah. Gibbles in front of you is a large one handed hammer and shield. Same description. <laughs> Gasps and just like just looks up, thank you, Aramok, and he'll grasp it and slip on his shield. All of you now realize that you are all in much finer tribal clothes. Oh. Furs, fine cloth skirts, jeweled sandals, headdresses. Character doesn't care, he's trying to memorize the design of the crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> All of you have now realized you're in tribal war paint. All of it gold. Yes. <laughs> like All of it what? In gold. Like the suit Gibbles wears a skull on his head that the skull is painted tribal. You all have gold paint all, all over you. Like war paint. We grow closer to the gold ones. The thumping gets closer and closer. And out from the tree. Wow. <laughs> Give me a second. Hmm? 
Or what's coming our way? There was just there was just a stream message. Give me a second. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> coming your way. Is gonna be, let me get the size. I just want to disable that sound effect. Eh. At least it got my attention. This is this is large. No, I shouldn't say large because that's an actual term in the game. The cats were large. The bears were large. This is gargantuan. Uh, As it pushes huge. through the trees. No, this is gargantuan. Like, really oh. fucking huge. Like, dragon-sized. So like... like, Shadow of the Colossus. Oh. Alright, let's fucking do this. Oh, shit. Steps out what looks to be one of those cats. Lynn, describe its color and fur pattern. Hmm. I would say it's like a deep silverish color with uh, streaks of black and blue. Kind of like iridescent blue. Forehead, a rough shape of a moon. <laughs> Excellent. Remember how my character acts when stoned. So, so Len, you see this, this gargantuan creature, this shadow of Colossus esque cat. Only the fangs on it. The fangs are as big as villages. They go far past its jaw. So it's like a saber tooth? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it is. It's a big ass saber tooth. Yep. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, fuck. Initiative, a friend. What did the one get us into? Sorry, did I hear a roll for initiative? Yep. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you're the one on initiative. That's about summed up his attitude. <laughs> Alright, Skigor. Well, to be fair, the cleric should go last to, to worry about healing. Okay, uh. Uman, we kill? This is the test. Must you do battle. Hear... So, a description for you. You can hear chanting. Tribal chanting. You can hear drums. You can hear cheering, almost like an arena. You can see Grung dancing in the woods around you. You can't make out their colors, just their shape. You can hear all the animal howling. All the shapes. In the trees, you can see bears watching you, gorillas watching you, wolves watching you, cats watching you. The moon is shining down, illuminating the water that you're standing And how far away is the cat from us? It's, uh, it is, it is what? 60 feet. Yep. I'll move about 15 feet to the left from where we were and then spread out from the other two. Then I guess shoot at the cat. Okay. <sighs> right. Lynn said it was the test. Uh, 
So 19. I believe you get two attacks. I only get one, unless I... Well, you I have two have, hand crossbows. Yeah. So the def or damage dice for those is d6, I do believe. Both hit. I think it's plus three on my damage. Double check. Yeah. I'll just roll this twice. I'll touch my leg, because... Yep. End of my turn. It's bad feeling they look like toothpicks that hitting plays. this thing. I don't know, whatever the first one is, that one's playing. Did you put it in Discord? Or can only okay. let hear it? Uh, let me see. There's probably a link for it. Since we're streaming it, and it's stuff like this, might as well put it in Discord if possible. We can build a in roll twenty playlist. Uh, Lynn sent me something, or otherwise I would have. And it's just perfect for this. Ah. This is purely battle music. That is player drum. One sec. Uh... Oh. Wrong thing. Okay. Which number? I'd say start from the first. Ah, it it's just opened up one. in the wrong window. So, one sec. It's going to open up in the window, so apologies for those watching this on YouTube. i got to open up another window and move it over to where I can work with it. Nope. Oh, it opened up in this one this time. Second, so trees. Oh, arrow and bow. So next up is Udvon. Where's the volume control on this? There isn't wanna... one. I can't play it then, because I don't know how loud it's going to be. Uh, uh, sorry. It's all good. Let's see, what shall I do? How far away is it? 60 feet. It's a good bit away. Um, that's way too far for me to close the distance. And I shall, I guess, get closer and take up a stance. I've got the entire theme, but not uh, just a particular song of it. All right, you run up, and I oh. think you're your first song is Aaron Wimbo. Yeah. All right, that's Ood Monster. It advances 15 feet towards you. Skigor, you've obviously, or not Skigor, Gibbles, you've obviously shit yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I, you cut off. I said more. you've obviously shit yourself with that one when you saw the gargantuan uh, saber tooth. What do you do? It moves closer? 15 I, feet closer. Uh... 15 feet forward, so that he says it's going back. Uh, I move up next to Uman and uh, I'm going to um, yeah, fuck it. I'm casting spiritual weapon. Uh, 22 hits, right? Yes. 
Can you put the spell into the cool. thing, please? Some points of force damage, and... Can you link the I spell? I only have my Oh, my bad. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Should just have it on my thing. Spiritual weapon. No, how do I? All right, never mind. I'm gonna have to. Spiritual weapon. Um. In your spell book, or book, it should have a like dialogue box next to the spell. Click oh, that. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um. You create a floating spectral weapon within. Here, range I got that it, lasts I got the duration it. or until you cast this spell again. Uh, when you cast this spell, you make a melee attack against the creature within five feet of the weapon. As such, on a hit, uh, uh, sure, fuck it, I'll just copy and paste. Da -da -da -da, there. Uh, and what forms is a gigantic wolf, uh, gigantic wolf claw. You think that's what forms, so I'm going to give you the description. Okay, so I try to make that form. What actually forms? So, this is a full-size gargantuan wolf. Full-size gargantuan wolf. Wolf claw. It is the size of this uh, this saber tooth. It's a big ass wolf claw. This would be just the claw. Roll religion, Gibble. Roll, roll what? Religion. religion. All right. Hey. This, this isn't just a spiritual weapon, Gibbles. This is divine intervention. How does Gibbles react to this divine intervention? I apparently am suffering a fatal heart attack. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you still there? Like I can hear him chuckling. Just fucking like, <laughs> like wide eyed. <sighs> All right, Skigor. Huh? This is your go. Skigor, you have a feeling deep inside your old blue soul. <laughs> Skigor, if you blew your death whistle right now, you feel like all the people in your tribe would come to us. Well, apparently it's a good idea, so... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Double nap, please. Is that the second time he's done that with that whistle? Yes. <laughs> yes <it is. laughs> so... Skigor pulls what he thinks is his normal death whip, but this one is, it, it is old, and tribal bone, and, like, wrought metals, and he blows on it, and hundreds of these grung, of all colors, all warrior cast, come from the woods. They will be acting at the end of the round. You were holding out on us. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Never question the whistle. Never question it again. What are your other actions this turn? It doesn't take an action. Nope. Well, oh, second verse, same as the first then. One 
hit at least. Both hit. What the heck? Is this AC 2? This thing's big, dude. True. Although, it's kind of hard to miss a flip. It's kind of hard to, like, miss a flip. That doesn't surprise me, though. <laughs> there come my dice again. <laughs> All right, Umond. All right. I shall raise my sword and jump up towards the uh, wolf and attack. Chomp. <laughs> Wait, wolf. You're attacking Gibble's thing? What now? <laughs> I mean, it's time. Saber yeah, you're there very you used to it being wolf. Yeah. I'm more used to it being bears. <laughs> Big fuzzy thing. Uh, what do I roll for that since I'm using this sword? Longsword is d8. But they don't have finesse, so it uses strength. Uh, no. For intensive purposes, this counts as a katana. Yep. So it's a d8 and then a d10 if you two-hand it. I believe it is a finesse weapon. It is. I'm not sure. And I will... Let's see. Uh... Incidence, it is versatile as a monk. You can two-hand it and still get your offhand attack. Ah, yes. That's the broken part about quarter stabs for you. And I'm also proficient in two-weapon fighting, so... Uh... I guess we'll need to fix up the damage on this, but I will use That's why I'm moves. manually rolling it. Yeah. I'm gonna roll D8 then. Oh, true. Uh, actually, that was wrong. Okay. Screw it. I'll just roll two headed spears since that's a 1D8 and just kind of go from there. This is only 22. A hit. All right. And what's the damage I would roll? Are you using it one or two handed? Two handed. D10 plus dex. You're not proficient in using a spear, by the way. Uh, oh wait, spear doesn't get uh, finesse. So, yeah. So I'm making a quick custom thing real quick. It's just gonna be stone. Damn it! Push the wrong button. Hold it. Is that right? No. Okay. All right. You punch it. Punch it up. Okay. I might have been rolling the wrong damage for the hand crossbow, by the way. Oh, no, it's D6. Okay. Bonus action. Cast Hunter's Mark on it. Ace. That unarmed attack is a bonus action. Yeah, you have yep. to. Uh, no, no, your uh, monk oh, punch or your Hunter's Mark. Oh, never mind then. I will do that next round. Okay. It's turn. What? So, the large saber tooth's eyes start to burn like yellow fire. And it opens its mouth and it hurls a large fireball hitting the army of the Grung. Sending, ar sending dozens of grung flying into trees and scattering. Go! 
Skibbles, what do you do? Sorry, my turn? Yep. It fireballed the army. He, sorry, he I keep cutting out, so it fireballs me? The army of Krung. Oh, shit. Is it my turn, or, like, did it miss me? Yeah. It's your turn okay, to do cool. something. So. Ah, gotcha. Um, so, bonus action, the spiritual weapon is going to attack again. Um, give me a second. Just up. Uh, I assume, when, does a 9 hit? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Can somebody tell him yes for me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Nine points of force damage, and that was a bonus action. And then for my main action, because I can cast a spell this turn, I'm casting Guiding Bolt. Actually, I can get close to it, can't I? Yes. Cool. Uh, I, I guess I sheath my weapon for just a quick moment. I jump at it, and I slam my fist into its... Uh, I slam my fist into wherever I can get a get a grip and cast inflict wounds at second level. Bad touch. Uh -oh. oh Christ. Natural one doesn't work. Ouch. Touch yourself. I'll take an advantage because of some weird thing, but I I guess nope. no. I don't know. The one is noted. Uh -oh. <laughs> Arumaka just says, no, you shall not use necromancy on this. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Spiritual weapon turns and backhands you. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Well, there's my turn. All right. The army of the right Grung up. open fire with bows and spears. Left, they all rolled a one and hit plane at the same time. Shane, does a 19 hit your AC? 19 does hit. You take Jesus. 12 points of damage from stray shot. Ouch. Like I said, the one was noted. If it's three stray hits, wouldn't the dex bonus be applied to all three? Huh? No, it's... He took 3d6 damage. Okay. He said 12 and it rolled 11. 3d6 plus 1. Right. Okay. And there goes the temporary hit points, but... <laughs> Still doing okay. Top of the round! Here I go shooting it again. Don't roll one. Damn. I fixed the damage die, so I don't have to worry about it. I like that 21 split. <laughs> All right. That crit. Yep. Is that your turn, or are you going to action, sir? No, that's my turn. All right, Umond. I have a bad feeling this thing is just slightly looking moderately annoyed. It looks moderately annoyed. <laughs> All right, then. Guess we're, uh... Well, I mean, I guess I'll be trying to do this again. Um, so you said you just look kind of annoyed by what we're doing at the moment? Yep. Hmm. All right. Well, I will slash at him again. Or 
are not, apparently. Nope. Oh. Uh, do I still get my offhand? I don't know if you get your offhand or not. I think you have to hit to get your monk attack. No, right? he doesn't. No, he, okay, just punch it. Alright. That 21 go. split. Alright. Damn. Alright, Len, it's gonna swat you. Wonderful. It that hits you. Doesn't hit. Wait, it does? There's no bonus attached to that roll. That's a straight 15? No. Uh oh. As for its melee, since you're in melee range with its big ass meaty fist, <laughs> it swats you, trust me. <laughs> I... Okay. Plus 18 to hit or some crazy crap. Plus 10. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that hits. Oh, it... oh, how badly does he die? Gods. Ow. Plus. Give me a minute. Any good hits would flat out kill me. You take 16 points of damage. Jeez. And you are knocked back yeah. 10 feet. Why do you think I went a ways away from you guys and started shooting? I mean, I got this nifty sword, so I figured I should use it. Could have also taken a Yumi bow. That is a monk weapon. I suppose that would be a long bow, so. Gibbles, you're up. All good now. Alright, so, sorry, my turn? Yep. Um, how much damage did uh, Umon just take? 16. Oh. 16. Oh shit. Um, how badly are you looking hurt? I'm at about half of what I have. Okay, um... For now... I mean, I have nothing at... Second level that I can do well. Ah, uh, hold on to it. Ah, uh, fuck it. Um. Uh, bonus action, spiritual weapon again. Uh, oh. Two swingy swing. Pretty sure that. Hits, that hits, if I remember correctly. Other uh, guys? Yes, it hits. Sorry, just doing this. So, eight points of force damage as the big massive fuck off claw hits again. Um, I uh, move uh, to um, one. I'm pretty sure Umon was in range with me anyway. So, I don't, so I'm not attack of opportunity. Uh, and I'm going to cast Cure Wounds. Umon was knocked back 10 feet from where he was standing. Yeah. Oh. Um, if I if I move out of the range, I'm getting swiped, aren't I? Yes. The yes from him, guys? I can't tell. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Sorry. Retract that. Cure Wounds. I'm going to turn I'm gonna turn that into a fucking Inflict Wounds. Actually, wait. That was bad last time. Can I cast when I'm up? When, can I cast up front, or can I cast a ranged spell within melee? Or I forget how that works. It provokes an attack of opportunity. Fuck it, don't got too many options. All right, fuck it. I'm going inflict wounds instead. Twenty-three hit. That hits. And because fuck you, I'm casting it at. Well, actually, no way. I have to. I have to say what it is for hands. I can't just say. And I'm casting it level two. Uh, yeah, I'm casting it level one. 
17 necrotic damage. Okay, one As I go, sorry, sorry, I'm rock, but this thing needs to go. Bang! And I just slap it with the necrotic energy. You do. You slap it with necrotic uh, energy, and eight necrotic reverberates back in. Sorry, I just took eight necrotic? You did. Okay. You can feel the displeasure of your god. Go. Okay. I know now. I know now. I know now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and for a movement action, uh, yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna take the uh, attack of opportunity anyway. I'm gonna make sure I'm beside. Um, well. I'm just I'm staying there. I'm, that's my turn. I'm not moving. Okay. The army of the Grung open fire, and then we go back up to Skigor. <laughs> Skigor, your allies have for some reason engaged in melee from the front instead of you know doing the Dark Souls hug. Them. It's their fault. <laughs> <laughs> Both, Both those just okay. Yep, they do. AC5. Damn. Is it even starting to look wounded? It's starting to get covered in arrows. And javelins. And there's definitely a lot of handholds. A moon I would probably recommend getting close to me so I can just touch you with a cure wounds if need be. Yeah. Is that your turn, Spoon, or are you going to go again? That's my turn. All right. Umand. All right. Uh, let's see. I got knocked back 10 feet. So I. OK. It's time to do what I thought I was gonna probably need to do anyway. It's time to play Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, Umon. Hmm? Since somebody mentioned it earlier, you have other monk weapon options. Do you I feel do. like you? Well, yeah, you have an entire list of monk weapon options. There's do even a bow like in it. Like to... Yes. Would you feel like you'd like to change your monk? Uh, yeah. The sword ain't working. Let me roll the one. What do you what do you feel would would help you in this situation? Well, seeing as I was kind of pigeonholed by my leveling into this, I will try two hand weapon or two weapon fighting with uh let's see. It's a ranged monk weapon. Two weapon fighting with ranged weapon? Uh, no. There's no two ranged weapon fighting for a monk. There isn't. Nope. Hmm. That feeling is feeling super useless. <laughs> uh, yeah. It is for the monk punch, but... You get better AC. Yeah. Skim tar and skim tar. Uh, okay. I guess I will change my weapon to hmm. something with some range. Are you going with so the Yugi bow? Believe... Yeah, I'll do that. All right. So you focus on this the sword, and you literally watch it shift in front of you. Stones move, etchings changing into a bow. All right. I will back up some more, and I will take aim and fire. All right, shoot it off. Your short bow button should work for this. Spoon, ah. the Yumi bow is what, a D8? Yumi bow would be a D8, yes.
You hit. Okay. And let's see. Can we use uh, Cure Wounds on ourselves? Or does it have to be touching someone else? I believe you can cast Cure Wounds on yourself. All right. And I shall cast Cure Wounds on myself. <laughs> Gibbles just looks back and goes like, what? <laughs> Didn't expect this, did ya? Now, I did. Nice. All right, I will uh, end my turn. Big old cat's turn. Big old cat has Shane right in front of it. Big old cat swipes. Does a 20 hit you? Sorry? Does a 20 hit you, Gibbles? Yeah. Yes, it, yes, it does. You take 22 Absolutely. points of damage Jeez. and are knocked back 10 feet. Okay. Thud. Uh, you see my ass just go flying back and I'm down. Well then. And also the spiritual weapon fades. Spiritual weapon is not concentration. But it ends. It can't act, but it's still there. It's still there, but it can't act. I gotta double check that, but yeah, okay. I'm making the ruling right now. It's still there, but it's not act. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna question it. Alright. So Gibbles is, uh, needs to throw me down a death save. Hey, one success. All right, the army of the Grung open fire. The large cat rears back and howls in pain. Over to to Skigor. Here we go again. Here we go, shooting up the big thing again. You're doing great, just keep doing that. Yep. Nice, buddy. Life of a fighter. Life of a bow fighter. Skigor. How's it looking? Hmm? Well, I'm about to tell you, Mr. Sound Superboard. You have dealt it a critical wound. Something disabling. What happened to it? Shot it in the eye. All right, so both of these bolts land dead right in the iris, and it pops the eyeball and goos down the side of it. Mm. Which side? What side, Skigor? Grab a coin, heads its left, tails its right. Right side. The right eye is gone. Hey, Umand. Okay. I'm going to move to its blind side and fire at its eye. Uh, yeah, I'm going to continue firing at it. Are you going to call shot the other eye? Fire up. That hits. Alright. <laughs> Guess I'm not even gonna say that. Alright, it's blinded as the other eye goes down. Now you're thinking with portals.
All right, Lynn. Um, Is that your turn? Um, I think I'm also going to go over to uh, Gibbles and shove a berry in his mouth. You've already used your move. Oh, that's. Oh, yeah, that's true. And your action. Uh, I can't do that as a bonus action. If, you can if you put the berries in your uh, belt pipe. Okay then, well I guess my round is done. Alright. It's going to take a pounce towards where it thinks Lynn is. It goes wide and goes crashing into the tree. Rolling with disadvantage now, huh? Amongst other issues. What was that? Said rolling with disadvantage now, amongst other issues, I take it. Yes. Hmm. Alright, so if. Did it turn land on Gipples? No. It pounced where it thought Lynn was and went, like, wide. Okay. Probably crushed some of the army of the Grun, but whatever. Greens, they're disposable. Yep, they're all greens. Gibbles has Who's failed jails? two death saving throws. Ow. Okay. Uh, the army of the Grung fires. This thing is not looking good. Skigor, it's. I shoot it in the dangly part since it's probably lying on its side. Okay, wait, hold one second. Lynn, what's the gender of this? <laughs> <laughs> um, it would be hilarious if it was a giant male cat. Uh, flip a coin. Few... Yeah, I'll flip a coin. Wow, we lost viewers because I popped eyeballs. <laughs> Heads, it's a guy. Tails, it's a girl. It's a girl. All right, there's no dangly bits for you to shoot. Mm -hmm. Would you like to fire into the nipples? <laughs> shoot it in the tail. Eh. Shoot it in the nose, then, I guess. Just to be an asshole. Okay. Open. You hit. You hit. Okay. Take away the last of its ability to find this. Nah, dude. How do you epically take this thing down, Skigor? Well, I don't want no normal shit. I want epic shit. You just shadow a Colossus this thing with hand crossbow. Specifically shot it in the nose, so I guess it bounces up the nostril and ricocheting repeatedly until it hits something vital. So, Udman, it's your turn. This thing has fallen. We're still in initiative. Your weapon starts to glow. And you can hear tribal drums beating. Then I will uh, approach the downed cat and hold my weapon up towards it. And uh, I guess I will will it to change into a dagger. Okay. This is pretty much over, so... I will coup de gras it. Excellent. As you coup de gras it, there is a... Don't... <laughs> Don't cut me off with fucking death save, you piece of shit. <laughs> you don't get to decide to die while I'm doing a description. You are not the DM. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> you are a player. You do not get to skip my description. <laughs> this isn't a video game. You can't mash A. <laughs> Sit your ass down. Wait, your turn wait. to die. <laughs> so you could draw this thing and it starts to melt. When what kind of colors does it produce? Uh I'd say it melts into the colors of Wildflowers, so like purple and red and yellow. Nah, it doesn't. It doesn't just melt in the the, the colors. It melts into these wildflowers, hmm. and it all the flowers are absorbed into your knife as you coup de gras. Hmm. The drums go silent. The forest goes silent. You can hear the the howl of a gargantuan wolf into the distance, and you can see its head rise out from the trees. Like, bigger than the cat? Bigger than the cat. At least ten times as big. I look over at Gibbles and remember he's unconscious on the ground, and... Then as back this is going the... on, all of the fog oh. starts to come oh. back in. All of the drug fog. It starts to disperse around you. And all of you are awake and at full health around your campfire. Doing exactly what you were before this drug trip happened. The only thing different is laying beside Lynn is a normal sized saber tooth cat in the description that he gave. I abruptly stand up and walk over to Umond and punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing a 23 hits. Yep. That take part of your temporary hit points. <laughs> I will fix the uh, blank bow so it's not a d6 anymore. Okay. Sorry, I had a guess. That's alright. Somebody tell Gibbles he's alive for me. Gibbles, you are not dead. I just felt like it would be better to type that out. Huh? Dead. You're right. not. You're you're fine. What? The I'm whole fast. thing. It was a test, and I failed. You did not fail. Okay. See, we are back here. If you fail, your god probably eat your soul. Yeah, that's probably true. <sighs> Sorry if I... No. Hope it, I hope it was a, a good... Okay. Ah, what the fuck? And now noticing the cat. <laughs> He's like, ah! Wait, what? It's tiny now. Uman's having food. It is not food. Oh man, one second. I need to read this very quick. Hmm? Mom, is that yours now? Yes. Did you beat it? Yes, we beat that. Big cat. Now we get 
cat, smaller cat that follow me and help. This is right. my spirit animal. Hmm. Well, I'm going to chalk it up that you two earned that victory. It was fell. So, it doesn't feel like victory to me. I helped, sure, but I didn't survive. Oh well. Stronger. Oh, one way. I always yeah. keep failing when it, when it matters. <sighs> the game, I'm okay. Just Gibbles is feeling a little is feeling a little blue because of his run run of bad luck. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting tired. Yeah. Fuck, it's four. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do maybe want to pause there and end off on a good note. Yeah, yeah that's a good point we'll to stop. Be... All right, two things need to happen first. Lynn, I need you to roll me two separate D. Two separate uh, D. What's E sixes. And uh, did I do anything with the fifteen I rolled on my tinker? Uh, you get to add one of your tinker bonuses. I believe. You just said I had to roll tinker and understand that. So. Oh, um. There's no yeah. mechanical description on improving my weapon. Yeah, uh, we'll get to that after, once I summarize. Okay. Oh my god, amazing. Huh? So, on the closing note of everything, I believe Gibble said hello to the cat. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh... I said what? He I said, believe you said there's a cat. I think he said hello. Did he say hello to the cat? He said, "What is that?" But yeah. <sighs> Did you greet it in any way, Gibbles? I don't think so, because I was more like dealing with his like Gibbles woke up, thought he failed, went over to his shrine and said. Sorry, I failed you, Amarok. Spoke to Uman, and then noticed the fucking cat. What the fuck is that? You, but you didn't say hello. What the fuck is that? I'm pretty sure she said hello. Can chat back me up? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Sure, I'll I'll roll with it. Hello. What the fuck? Hello. What the fuck is that? They're not backing me up here. Screw it. I'm yeah. going with Dan. That hits. Mm -hmm. It pounces on you. And in a greeting, it gives you a flurry of licks to the face. Roll that con save. Doesn't work on it. Oh, well. Because Lynn, the personality trait, the 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 flaw that you rolled for your your cat, my idea of a hello is a flurry of licks to the face. Nice. And considering it's a cat, oh, man, enjoy that sandpaper. Wherever that thing is licking me is gone. I uh, I reversed the rolls, by the way. I originally assumed that you did fly and then try. But I decided it'd be detrimental for the campaign if the cat was deathly afraid of flying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would, uh, that would kind of be bad. I gotta admit, that was definitely an interesting episode for this time around. Holy shit. I run a bad luck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm kind of shutting down. I'm getting tired. All right, it's all good. Yeah, been up well, since five this morning. Well, yesterday morning. 
Well, I think that'll probably put an end to the stream. What do you think, Spoon? Yeah, that about sums it up. Well, for anyone that hung out through it, thanks for hanging out and watching on YouTube. Yes, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time we decide to do this. There's no set schedule for it for now. We just kind of go whenever we're all available. Winging it. I believe we had six viewers that stayed through the entire thing. So good on you. Thank you. And have a good night. Yep. Later. Oh, not what to do. Uh.